William Colling from Wibby Blogs and Go A. They want to take it to the T.O.P. They have released their Eurovision 2021 song, Shoom. Now, according to WibbyBlogs.com, they said, this is meant to awaken and summon spring and hasten the awakening of all living things after winter. Okay, there's some very heavy allegory here with the pandemic, it seems, and coming back to life. In any case, should we watch the video and react? <laughs> Let's do this! OMG. Now, William just called me and said, Ukraine's dropped a song and we need to react. So I'm living for this moment, but prepared. It's go away, Ukraine. Got my lemons. Hitting and oh, hitting no. slay. Oh god, slow. Oh, very nuclear winter. <laughs> she is pandemic ready. That is a hazmat suit. Hazmat very suit. Very dark. Wow. You gotta give them a 10 out of 10 for originality. Ooh, with a B. <laughs> That's me last year, dancing to Solove while everyone else looks like, what? Say your way, Solove. This has a vibe. Mm. Ooh, work those hips. Kata. Give me that sass. Yes. Um, this is very strange. Somebody is like literally out of line, Nihilistic. destroying all that choreography. Wow, he's doing his thing. This kind of gives me that feeling, of, you know, the rite of spring, folk, electronic. Yeah, this has everything but redone. You know, it's also really catchy. I like their face mask. Go A. I don't know what's happening. Oh, a digeridoo, yeah. digeridoo. Come on, Australia. Come on, Globe Checker. She. Oh, yes. David Guillen. This is art. Let's do this. This is a mind F U C K. I don't know what's happening, but I like it. Some throwback dance. Yes, cut! Ah. Oh, she's fogging up! She is fogging up! This gets under your skin. This makes you want to do what he's doing. This gets underneath you, in your heart, in your soul. This is good. This is good. This is... You know, Seems given that long. Chernobyl's in Ukraine, Four the post-apocalyptic hazmat suit, there are a lot of layers here, is the point. She has a message. Things can be oh. bad, but they're coming back to life. With a circle of so love. Do not sit on my computer, kitty anyway. cat. Circle of love, circle of trust. No, 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 please don't do that. Yeah, this is very right of spring. You know, ode to the season. This is... Almost hand, it also handmade has a very tale ritualistic feel. set in nuclear winter. Like, I, it's very unsettling. Very strong pagan undertones. But at the same time, kind of club ready. I love this. Somewhere in... In like Russian and Slavic folk music. Some when the pace picks up. Dungeon in Odessa. This is good. You just want to move. Oh yes, K, baby. They are doing it. This is how you improve! Katja's tough, look at her! She's tough! Yes! yes. I actually don't mind this. Urban! She's working it on a hill! This is fantastic! Wow! They're not afraid to do them. Not afraid to be different. Easter folk! Updated the club! Underground! Above ground! Oh yeah! Call the gods! I'ma do some libation! Ooh. He 
Looks like a painter. He could go decorate a house with his stepladder. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Drag it off. Take it away. And it's gone. Well, damn. That was something. That is how you deliver. What I love is that last year, they brought this sort of Carpathian folk traditional sound. And a lot of people were like, what? People were really like, huh? Because if you've never heard it before, or you're not used to this type of music, it can be a little grating. But she was like, whatever, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again and do it better. And what she's done is taken last year's more traditional song, cranked it up and made it even more modern and contemporary. To me, this has shades of the club. Like, we are underground. We are at fabric. We are, we are in a warehouse with glow sticks. And yet we are also paying homage to, I don't know, the Carpathian Spring Festival. Oh, sorry, my cat keeps going for my computer. <laughs> that they're talking about this return to life after a winter. It has very post-apocalyptic pandemic shades in the video, very deliberately. They're setting a bleak picture here because they want you to know, it seems like there's a hopeful message that spring will come, things will get better, and then eventually one day, hopefully sooner rather than later, you know, she can remove her hazmat suit and get back to life the way it was. Whew. I need to catch my breath for real. This is borderline witchcraft. Let me just put it out there. Solo Veva says this. It's a no-brainer. I definitely prefer this. I think it still has that folklore, ritualistic, but mm, if this is what they do, at least it's been elevated on this occasion. Don't get me wrong, this is not my kind of music. I wouldn't really respond to this, but let me tell you what makes this stand out. Go A are true visionaries because the visuals here will remain with me for the next 10 years. I think it's very strong visually and I think that they can really play to their strengths here the hazmat suits is so 2021, isn't it? I mean, let's just face it. That's all we see on the news these days. And to kind of incorporate that into this music video, A, it dates this video as like something really hot and current, but also another way to kind of engineer the flavor of hazmat suits. So we're not seeing it as hazardous, but now seeing it in a more playful way. And I think that that's really a very clever thing to do. And also taking that bleak, you know, cloudy, you know, Ukrainian backdrop just kind of gives this added texture, especially when paired with really strong EDM. There are also shades of like Verka Serduchka. Do you remember how Dancing Lasha Tumbai has that sort of, that, I don't know what it is, if it's the rhythm, the quickening pace, like you, you see that quickening pace and you feel that quickening pace in a lot of Slavic folk music, like dark eyes. Google Sasha Cohen 2006 Turin, Turin Olympics short program figure skating. That kind of quickening pace towards the end of Dark Eyes, which is a really famous traditional kind of folk song. Um, this has that quickening pace, which I love. And by the end, you feel like you're just on a treadmill and you're just like, you're like the energy of the butt bu bunny and you're just running, 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 like some Usain Bolt. And then she hits that note. That beautiful, glorious high note. Clearly they need to shorten this. Like, cause right now I think it's four, four and a bit minutes. At three minutes is gonna be so impactful, but I hope she keeps that note at the end. Cause people forget she's a brilliant singer. Like what she does is not easy. I think sometimes you can get lost in the rhythms and the unique sound and you can forget. She can sing. Watch the Wee Wee Jam at home performance from Go A. It's stunning. Якби я того не знала, ти з тобою б не гуляла, не ходила долину, не ламала калину. Absolutely stunning. I'm floored. It's hard to say 
what my favorite is at this point, because what I love about this is this reminds me of Eurovision, you know, in the noughties, when people weren't afraid to just go for it. They were like, juries, whatever, we're just gonna do our thing. They, they, there was freedom to just present music as you want without this fear of like a very conservative jury. And this kind of leans back to that. It's like going for it. And then you've got something from France, which is much more classic, you know, traditional. Whereas this from Goé Ukraine is like crazy and wild. And yet it's still excellent, excellent music. I think producers would respect this. I don't think this is a song that a juror would write off by any means. I think it's more risky and more dangerous than something classic like France. This year is shaping up to be really good, is what I'm trying to say. We have what, three, four songs? And two of them, I think, are home runs. Ukraine, welcome to the game. And you know Ukraine's gonna just kill the staging. They can do staging, and they can do staging really well on numbers that are quirky. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Shoo, I'm ready to celebrate Shoo, this festival about coming back to life. And as I come back to life, and I bring that love, it's going to go, eh? Take it to the T-O-P. <laughs> In any case, that is my first reaction to Shoo. What was yours? Are you loving this? Did you also like the quickening pace at the end? Do you think this could contend in Rotterdam? And now I know we only got four songs. I know, but I'm just saying. Do you think this has the vibe of a song that could do really well? This is going to the final. I don't even need to hear the other 20 songs, whatever, 15, 18, you know, how many songs in the semifinal? This has to be in the top 10. This is so good. But let's keep it real. It still sounds to me somewhat like distorted bat sounds kind of meddled into the thing. But the melody here is much stronger. I mean, Salve, Salve. Oh, no, no, no. That's Poland. Oh, I can't remember their previous entry. But this. I've already heard it once. So clearly this has a much stronger melody for me. Will Ukraine qualify? The question on everybody's lips. Well, Ukraine has a perfect qualification record. It's never failed to make the finals. Overrated in some instances. I didn't care for that TikTok and the hamster wheel. I thought it was awful. Actually, this is more authentic. This is more original. And I think that for lots of people who pick up the phone to vote for entries that still tell you a little bit about the countries that they're representing, it's a no-brainer. Votes go to Ukraine. Furthermore, music experts, who are there to save entries that shouldn't go under because they're not necessarily popular, will throw, these, will throw Go A some points as well. So I actually think that this will qualify, even though I haven't heard all the other songs. And even though it's not a 1944, it's not going to win. But I think that there's room for, for this in the final. Follow us on multiple social media platforms. Go A are slaying it on social media. By the way, thank you so much for the shout out at the Wee Wee Jam. I loved your performance. Like literally, I'm booking front row at your next concert. I got my earplugs and I didn't even use them. So definitely I'm feeling Shum a lot more than I'm feeling Solove. And um, we are on TikTok. We have a podcast going. We are on Tumblr, YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. And we will see you later. Gosh, I'm just so happy for Ukraine. Love it when they do well. In any case, see you later. Bye. Bye.